you can't put a label on talent like this or even a name, apparently. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 255 pounds, Mick King. Since when did superstars get to pick their own names? I don't know, since they had conviction about who they are? Here comes Jey Uso. A man who has grown immeasurably under the bloodline. And their opponents, first from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jey Uso. Jey Uso has grown accustomed to owning a mountain of tag team gold. But he's proven he can fly solo as well, Byron. You can say that again, Cole. We are looking at main event Jey Uso, as ruthless as they come. The right-hand man. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary! And representing the bloodline from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso. Hey, Jimmy's been helping to run things in the bloodline. Jimmy Uso may not be alongside his brother Jay here tonight, but Jimmy Uso is just as cunning as ever. Hey, superb athletic abilities here. You can say that again. Jimmy Uso has the ability to fly around the ring and still hit like a truck. Honestly, guys, Jimmy Uso is the complete package. I've never agreed more, Byron. The Usos have sat atop the WWE Universe ever since teaming up with Roman Reigns, and they'll look to extend their streak of dominance against the former Rock. Nobody in WWE works together more seamlessly than Jimmy and Jey Uso, so I expect their opponent to be backpedaling this entire battle with the bloodline. Backpedaling? I expect the former Lock to be on his actual back for a three count pretty quickly. into the corner. Jay puts a stop to that. Landing the overcut. Superman punch in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Spear! Tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him. Take off. Down with force. On the second rope. Over in Zaguri. And now Jay is getting beaten down. Somehow Jay's got to turn the momentum around. He turns it around. Jay managing the sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He saw that one coming. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Suplex. Oh. Here it comes. Nicely done. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Fate and paid dearly for it. That half has 
an approach definitely proved costly. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, he fights Jay back. What's he got planned for him? Smile! Buster Buster! Mm -mm -mm. And Jay Uso on the wrong end of some ruthless offense there. Yeah, but at this point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. Tree of Woe position, folks. Yeah. Ah, he's got that boot yeah. right up against oh, his face. Come on. He thinks he has it. Oh, how did he get the shoulder up? What an incredible match we are witnessing. Showing no regard for their opponent's well-being now. Perched on the middle rope. Head butt to the heart. All the momentum has swung to Jey Uso. Yeah, Us is firing on all cylinders. Whoa. And now gets tossed into the ring. Supreme confidence here from Jimmy Uso. But he is giving his opponent a lot of time here. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. <laughs> this match grinded him down a little. Something fancy there, spinning your Oh, it is over. This should be your favorite move. <laughs> oh, you know it is. Round and round and round. Just by the neck. A well-timed dodge. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Then <laughs> kick right to the gut. Officiating there, referee seeing him the ropes and breaking. Oh, it's over. Does Jimmy have any fight left? Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner, Nick King. Wow, just wow. A tremendous win in this match. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say.
I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first. Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway, I would never lower myself to attack an announcer. But maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up. Come <laughs> on. 
Can't put a label on talent like this or even a name, apparently. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 255 pounds, Mick King. Dropping his old name seems like a cry for help. Am I the only one hearing it? All I hear is applause, Corey. The fans love him. Well, the greatest musician in WWE history. 
Cole, what are you talking about? This guy's not even the greatest musician currently walking to the ring right now. And their opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! What do I need to do to get this guy to stop playing music? Say on air that he's not Ezekiel? Well, you should say that because it's the truth. is still going to put on a show. Guys, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I mean, I'm all zeked up. It's about time, Michael. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Ezekiel! Early in his career, he already has many big wins, competed at major WWE events. I think the sky is the limit for Ezekiel. He'll never be as good as his brother, though. Wait, are you guys both kidding me? What are you on? And why haven't you shared it with me? Am I the only one that sees what's going on here? time for Ezekiel to get out of his brother's shadow. Well, Byron, that's easier said than done since their shadows are both exactly alike. and his brother Ezekiel are teaming together here on SmackDown. Are they using holograms, body doubles, or maybe it's augmented reality? Hey, all I know is if it's throwing us for a loop, imagine what it's doing to their opponent. Or maybe they're actually two separate people. Either way, pulling this off and then getting the win could prove Elias deserves to be in John Cena's 2K showcase after all. Oh, this is this is impressive all the way up. Inverted DDT. Spiked. Spinning, sit out, power bomb. Now he's been put on the defensive. Blind buster. Momentum is running away from Elias. Yeah, Elias has to find an opening and respond. Elbow, 
puts an end to that. up there up wow what a spine buster oh. Elias is being carefully measured now long way up in the electric chair Elias' eyes look glazed over two man that was such a long and hard Nick Key! The artist formerly known as The Lock just produced another masterpiece, Cole. An impressive win by a virtuosic talent, no doubt about it. This is what it's all about. All the hard work, all the training, it's all for achieving big victories like this one. Hey bro, know you're looking for help, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. You're kinda uptight, and I've already been through that with Randy. No way, bro, me? Uptight? I'm super cool, so relaxed. We could definitely hang. <clears throat> bro? <laughs> okay, bro, then show me you can let loose by riding a scooter out to your next match while copying my entrance. Do that, then I'll know you can hang. Deal. I just need to borrow your scooter. You don't already have one? I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Mine's in the, uh, shop. The scooter repair shop, which is definitely a real thing. Oh, okay, bro. You can totally bogart mine. Look forward to seeing your goofy side. A 
cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Wait, that's not Riddle. What the heck is going on here? I don't know, but he's acting like Riddle, Scooter and all. I have no idea why he or anyone for that matter would want to do this. He's actually pretty good on that scooter. Maybe he's been practicing. Is this really the time for goofing off like this? He's got a deadline approaching where he needs to win the championship or he's gone from WWE forever. I think I'd be more focused on that. Or maybe there's more to this we don't know about. Or maybe the stress of the deadline has caused him to lose it. Who knows? He's certainly got Riddle's mannerisms down, Pat. Again, I hate to be the downer, but that's not going to help him win this match, let alone overcome the difficult odds he faces trying to gain Slade's championship before SummerSlam. I just don't get it. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Absolutely a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. Hope he isn't getting paid by the hour because Veer Mahan is probably looking to make this a The Lion of WWE has feasted on many an opponent in his young career, clearly staking his claim as a big man on the rise, and very few have been able to stand against him so far. Uh-oh, going up top. If they can somehow pull this off, you gotta be kidding me. Not from up there. This is nasty. This is devastating. All in the name of victory from way up high. When all else fails, sometimes you just have to go the high risk and hopefully high reward route. Mahan with the reversal. Big face back body drop. What elevation. Agonizing. He moves just in time. Series of reversals. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. He planned for this if it's still around. He's one step ahead there. The Turn out the lights. The party's over. Ruthless.
with the reversal. Close line! Off with their head. And the Lion feasting on his opponent. Yeah, Veer is making this uncomfortable to watch. Shoulders down! Surprise! And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Avoiding contact. Set up in the corner of the ring. Spear! A uh, slingshot forearm smash. That is tossing your own body around without care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Take the capability to stand. He had it scouted. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Now he's got a chance to best Mahan here. Electric chair. No way here recovers from that. They're letting this superstar know just how big that win was. The action we just witnessed was really something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time. Wow, it is like looking in the mirror. Not sure what you mean by that. I'm just saying our careers have taken a similar course. We both cut our teeth in the international circuit. We both were touted as future champions when we debuted here. We both were let go. And then we both returned and won the championship. Well, you haven't done that part yet. I hadn't really thought about all that, I guess. And I'm working on the championship part. It's actually kind of creepy. Are you intentionally copying me? No, just a coincidence. But we could actually work well together because of everything we have in common. Talking about your new faction, huh? I don't know. Maybe we're too similar to coexist. We might butt heads. We're not that similar. I mean... I didn't go to NXT when I came back to WWE like you did. That's true. I did have a nice run there when I beat Robert Roode for the NXT Championship. Maybe you could prove how different we are by taking on Roode on NXT, but beating him 
in under five minutes, which is a lot less time than it took me. That's exactly what I was thinking. That is kind of creepy. See? Anyway, give it a go and we'll talk. From the moment he debuted, this superstar has known how to make an entrance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 255 pounds, Mick King. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. glorious. And his opponent, representing Dirty Dogs from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, tag team championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. Change of scenery for Robert Roode, the superstar formerly known as The Rock. But the objective remains the same. Score a crucial W. And do it fast. Both competitors will only have five minutes to get the job done. Time is certainly running out on the former Locke's chances at winning a WWE Championship. So the faster the better for this surging superstar. The clock's ticking. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical <laughs> suplex. A superstar can do it to put him away. What a counter! Climbs back inside. Fireman's carry. Neck breaker.
a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. And he's able to fight Rudolph. <laughs> he's looking a little off balance. Grand uppercut. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. <laughs> You can feel the end coming. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Bang! <laughs> Fireman's carry. Into a neck breaker. Nicely done. And he's able to fight Rudolph. These two having an answer for everything. Sequence of reversals there. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Reed gets him back. And this just goes to show you. show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. And respond to the counter of their own. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh, setting him up in position. Oh, no. Time's up, and this one goes down as a draw.
So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward, then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. I like the faction I've put together. It's the right group of guys to help neutralize Shawn Michaels and my old crew so I can take down Slade. I hope you're right, for your sake. 